Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. Welcome back to MG Studios and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Now, last episode, we finally got the elephant taken care of, and so now we got new missions to do. And I think we're gonna go with the one at the newspaper first, uh, just because uh, I don't wanna start a new mission right away, because uh, I know it's probably gonna take a long time. So, we're gonna do a few more side missions first, uh, so I can also get some more money, yeah? Uh? So, yeah, we got to go over here to the uh, Corona Chronicle. And we're gonna go inside and get the mission from here, uh, and then we'll go from there. Mr. Holmes, that envelope awaits. Surely you want the task? Sure, sure, yeah. I'll admit, you piqued my interest. Glorious. Now, let me set the scene. Ooh. A gang of smugglers, the eels, have Cordona in their clammy grip. The British Empire can abide it no longer. Mycroft insists they be disbanded, okay. but this organization only falls with the capture of their odious leader, Friedrich Panzer. And note well, I did say capture, not kill. Yeah. Inside your envelope uh. is a map marked with the eels' warehouses. But alas, we do not know in which Friedrich Panzer resides. Hmm. So even Mycroft has his limits. Uh -huh. Indeed. You must be sure to identify the correct warehouse before entering. Because once one is compromised, the other's occupants will scatter. Here are all the files, and feel free to use the archive too. Again, do not enter the wrong location, nor see any harm done to Friedrich Panzer. Okay, well, sir, right, if you're so. quite done with the redundant instructions, I shall get to work. Not really redundant. Well, that's perfect. Tortured hero lashes out after rejected romance. Tomorrow's edition will be a sensation. You little. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's have a look at this. Uh, a match start log. Oh, no, that's the uh, chess match thing. Eel hunting. Here we go. Your task to capture Friedrich Penzer, the boss of Eel's gang. Our service has been. Uh, so it's a little to believe that he can be found in one of his warehouses in Silverton, with, through which we cannot tell. Be sure to assess the situation carefully. You have one chance at this. If you enter the wrong warehouse, you'll escape. You to say that would be unacceptable. Yeah, no duh. Follow a man on the inside. Let's see. Instructions for a good cover. To illustrate the eels, you shall have to disguise yourself as one of the gang. Your safest bet would be a certain William Hart, also known as Ugly Face Billy, according to our source. He has recently faked his death and gone into hiding. You can find his obituary in the recent news on Silverton. Okay. File on Frederick Penzier. Oh, he's got a lot of armor on. This could be tough. Frederick Panzer is the leader of the Eels gang. Panzer is a dangerous fighter and a practical man who prefers to oversee the smuggling operations personally. He is known to be paranoid to the point of wearing armor. Should any of his warehouses be compromised, he'll immediately slip away from the island. Okay. File on the Eels. The Eels are a gang of smugglers operating between Cordona and Italy, working with the local fishermen under the legal name Cordona Fish Company. They stuff the fish with heist of gold to be quickly transported to Italy right under the nose of the British authorities. File on Eels Lieutenant. Top Hat Jones, one of the Eels Lieutenants, might know where know more than the common smuggler, but he's unlikely to talk to anyone who's not part of the gang. He can be found at the north side of the Finch Cannery in Silverton. Okay, so first off, uh, let's go have a look at that um, obituary. Hold on. There we go. So, let's see. Uh, people, officials, facilities, uh, commoners. Well, we'll go, yeah. Commoner section for page, current events, article, obituaries. Um, and I believe we'll go, I think it's Silverton. Here we go. William Hart's obituary. Mr. William Hart died in a tragic accident in Silverton at the age of 29 years. A loving father, an upstanding citizen. He leaves a wife and five children to mourn his passing. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, new location, warehouse number three. So I gotta look like him. Alright. So I need to uh, go and try and find someone who can. Maybe I can get like, something custom made from her, can I? Let me, um. Okay, let me try places like these first. Let me see if I can find anything there. So 
We're going this way. I'll try and see if I can find some outfits that can match it. And if so, well, then we're all good. I just hope. Uh, extra, extra! Elephant adopted! Okay, alright. Refresh your interior. Pick what you like. We have a large assortment. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Okay, um, like you read that? Perfect. Let's make sure there's anything else here that's closer. Ugh, I can dress as a woman too. I don't think anything else okay. Please bring it back in time. Alright, alright, alright. Let me see. Uh, okay, so I need uh, I go to uh, hair. I think I'll be fine for now. Uh, makeup. Uh, no makeup. Uh, where did I get makeup? Uh, oh wait, hold on. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let me see. Uh, Mm, no, let's see. No. Not that. Oh, no. Oh, that's probably going to be it. Wait, I can rent this? I can rent makeup? Please, bring it back in time. Hold on. Wait. Uh... The hair looks the. Let me uh. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. I'm just make sure I can't do anything with my hair. No. Hmm, nope. Of course. Think it over. Take your time. Okay. So then I'm good in terms of looks. So, so let's see, where is it? Where can he be located? I found the Finch Cannery in Silverton. Okay. Um, in uh, Silverton. I guess is all this Silverton? Where's the uh, warehouse number two? Warehouse number three? Warehouse number one, so it's in docks. Um, Fishman Island. Hmm. We'll head over here. We'll see if we can. Uh, we'll head over here and see if we can find anything. I'm not certain it's gonna have happen, but who knows. Out of my way. Hey. I'm just a regular old guy with a scar on his face, you know? Hopefully heading in the right direction. Oh, it's a lighthouse over there. Cool. Drinking Dutchman? Oh, watch a kid. What's this? Bandit lair? Nope. Hmm. Head this way. Hmm. Uh, it's probably gonna be over here somewhere. So we'll, uh... We'll head that way. And this railway track will lead right to it. Uh, well, 
That's derailed. Not gonna get anywhere with that. Let's see. Oh, Finch and Co. Cannery. All right. So let's see. The north side. So. So probably over uh, on this end near the uh, Tand Road. Okay. How do I get in? Do you know anything about this? I've nothing to tell you. Alright, uh, should probably scan them beforehand, uh, make sure. Plus, he's probably inside. Uh, maybe? Nope. I'll try the other side. Hello. Uh, who is this Mr. Holmes you speak of? Uh, wait, wait, no. No, there's no way over. Well, I'll try the street up here. If I can't get in through here, then I have to go around again. Social. Yeah, yeah, watch out, buddy. Yeah. Uh, nice to see you. You don't know who I am. Well, what's this? Italian robber, perceptive, friendly. Top Hat Jones, one of these. Top Hat! I can't seem to find the boss. Where's Penza? I'm not your nanny, you daft muck snipe. I need to get more men to warehouse two now, so quit bothering me, will you? Warehouse number two. Let's see. Uh. Found near the former cave found. Well, Marcus White's an informant on the inside of Eels. The former cave found near warehouse number three. He's an ex military man who's lost his eye in battle. The informant will respond to the code phrase, How much for the fish? However, if I approach the wrong person, this position might be endangered and I'll, I'll forfeit the opportunity to talk to him. Ex military man lost an eye in battle. Okay, so I'm going to warehouse uh, three. Yeah? Okay, close by. So, I'll head over there. And I'll try and find him. We'll talk to him. If Warehouse Two is correct, uh, okay. What the what the heck is this? The paint is fresh. This symbol was drawn recently. My cross informer should be somewhere around here. Try not to mess it up, or you'll blow his cover. Let's see. Ronan Cutthroat, Lizard of Ships, Pathetic, Turkish Carpenter, Johnny Forge, Mild Heat Stroke, Ronan Smoker, Glass Eye Friendly. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save just to be safe. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm worried. Could you help me? Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. Ooh. The informant was unable to reveal Penn's location to me, though he did tell me that the eels reduced the number of guards at Warehouse 3. Yeah, he could have been more helpful, but alright. What? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, identified. Good. Um, paint eye. There's a purple eye that's painted on the warehouse wall. Top of judgment that the need to get more men to Warehouse 2. Warehouse 3 located. According to Mark Informer, the eels reduced the number of guards at Warehouse if the guy's paranoid enough to wear armor, why would he, you know, he, he'd want to have more guards with him. So if you reduce that warehouse to the pro- sorry, warehouse 3, you'd probably cancel it out at warehouse 3, yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll just take care of that. Let me- Where's- This one. Let's see if he knows anything about it. Are you able to help me? Hey, you're a lucky man. Ooh. I know about this. The eye is a sign for corrupt policemen to look the other way. Okay. Let me... So, yeah. It's like, why would he... If he's paranoid, let me make sure. Let me see. Okay. 
Pez is dangerous fighter and a practical man who prefers to oversee the smelling operation personally. He is known to be paranoid to the point of wearing armor. Should any of his warehouse be compromised, he'll immediately slip away from the island. Okay, yeah, so if he took away uh, men from Warehouse 3, he probably doesn't mean he's at Warehouse 3, yeah? And uh, the other guy, where is it? Um... Oh, where, where, where? Need to get more men to Warehouse 2. Uh, if he's, uh, so that's where a lot of the operations are. He's probably at Warehouse 2. Uh, so where, no, where is Warehouse 2? Uh, where, okay, here. And fast travel right there. Okay. I think, uh. I think this is it, uh. This should be... Oh. I think this is it, but I'm going to save... Just to be safe. Alright. Hello, man. Alright. Please let this be right. Uh. Who the hell is that? Get him! I'm coming for you. Ooh. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Oh. No more crime. Ah. Oh, wrong one. I'm coming. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm coming. Right. Too simple. The snuff's ready. Oh. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Oh. oh. Overcome him. Don't rush. I could miss the party. I'm coming. Oh. oh. I'm coming. Oh. We can infer. Get ready for some pain. Ooh. Careful! I couldn't miss the party. Time to knock this. Overcome him. Don't... Oh, man. I'm coming for you. Oh. He's all yours now. Go for it. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh! Don't cry, you'll the snuff's ready. Do I need Take a rest, my friend. No more crime for you until next month. Weaken him first. Oh, oh I gotta deal I with you. Party. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm coming. Give him the pepper snuff. Ah, there we go. I am invincible. It's time to knock this guy out. Oh, they around him. Oh. 
Oh. Don't cry, you'll live. Please tell me I got right. Please tell me I got right. I'm coming. Oh. Yeah, come around this way. Come on, come around this way. There you are. Ooh. Too simple. Oh, yeah. Arrested! I catch a panzer. Now I should report back to Yasmin with the newspaper. Okay. Uh, panzer is captured, but alive. Now to report to Miss Sertle. First off, give me all these raggedy clothes. Oh, and this god awful makeup. Oh, look, they're all gone. Probably could have killed them all. Uh, all right. Report my success uh, in capturing that uh, ref scallion. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, Guy who caught a criminal right here. I deduced the location of Frederick Panzer and was able to apprehend him. Nice. So I heard. What a coup. Congratulations are in order. And a new article in the paper. Perhaps a sterling stranger squashes smugglers? Hello. Oh, kind of you. I'm sure with little more thought you will land on the perfect headline. <laughs> uh, with a little more thought, uh, you're no writer, Mr. Holmes. Leave it to someone who knows what sells. Well, fine, fine. Since you're here, Mr. Holmes, how about an interview? Uh, strictly on background? Get to know the real you. Uh, Mycroft is rather tight-lipped, as you know. Information is Mycroft's currency, and he does not disperse it lightly. He will tell you a barefaced lie without hesitation if it advances his cause. Ooh. As for your request, I'm afraid the real me pales in comparison to your vivid imagination. An interview would do us both a disservice. Hmm. Perhaps it's best to let the mystery be. There we go. Uh, now, on to other matters. We have another case for you. Are you interested? Uh... My attention is elsewhere at present. Perhaps another time. Mycroft trusts only you to handle this situation. The envelope will remain here until you are ready. Well, I gotta go help out at the police station right now. So maybe another time, you know. Let's see. I'm gonna head back to the police station. We're gonna take care of figuring out what happened to the uh, police chief. Uh, Mr. Holmes, would you help me investigate Placido's last case? Please. Fine. You have me intrigued. Uh-huh. Thank you awfully, Mr. Holmes. Tell me everything you know. Well, I don't know much. Just that it's connected to a gang called the Hive. Eels Placido's Hive? been after their leader, the Hive Master, for years. But otherwise, I can't make head nor tail of it. Here, take the key to Placido's office. You might find some leads in there. Ooh. My own office. So is it Chief Inspector Placido who has vanished? From what I've gathered, he was a good detective. Ain't that the truth? He was solving cases like shelling peas. Without him, things have gone downhill. He mm. was a crotchety sort, always grumbling, fussing, taking his snuff by the handful. But I, for one, snuff? miss the old boy. Is that what they call? Very well, I'll you know what back I can then. Find out. One thing is certain: it's a dangerous business. Be careful, Mr. Holmes. Careful is my middle name. Not really, but you you get. It. Plan B, uh, okay, well, let's go to his office and we'll have a look around. There's his office. No, that's the archives. Inspectors. Oh. I should know, uh, Inspector. Inspector the Strad will probably be a lot better. There we are. 
Okay. Cedo's office. Have a look. Chief Constable's message. We've been through this before, and you know well that I cannot allow it. You are an indispensable asset to the department. Placido, sorry, but your retirement is out of the question. We need you now more than ever. The city needs you. Think about it, Chief Constable Donovan. I really hope I really haven't figured this out already, uh, and that you know he was involved in this somehow. And uh, oh. A box of snuff. Strong stuff. Oh, that's what snuff is. This must have been an award for long and faithful service. Okay. Oh. Cardona Chronicle, May 18, 1877. Hive Gang Police Raid is the Hive Master Dead for Police Inspector Luciano Jr. Placido. The night of May 13th ended in gunshots, a blazing fire, lost comrades, and the label of hero. After an investigation lasting several years, Inspector Placido led his squad on a raid to shut down the operations of the infamous Hive Master and his criminal syndicate, the Hive. The largest of the gang's warehouses, also dubbed B Yards, was raided in Miner's End. Although the operation was thoroughly planned, the police encountered serious opposition and were outnumbered. The gang set the warehouse on fire, ambushed the officers, and engaged them in a gunfight. We have received confirmation from several sources that Inspector Placido managed to corner the Hive Master, the gang leader subsequently perishing in a failed attempt to escape from the burning warehouse. As well as the operation, Placido was promoted to the position of Chief Inspector. We congratulate the hero and are already preparing an exclusive interview with the governor that will include an official statement on the operation. Huh. I have two theories now of what went down. Ooh. Hive Master. Crime Lords just love catchy monikers. The files are gone, that's odd. Yep, that's why I'm sorry I think I know what happened. Uh, but I'm not gonna say anything just yet, just in case I'm wrong. Let's have a look at the um, evidence we got. Let's see. Let's see his office. No, stuff box. Found bo okay. Chief Constable's message. We've been through this. Okay, now. The fate of Placido. We agreed to help Sergeant Stark. It's not fate of choosing to Placido. His appearance several months ago may be linked to his last case and a certain hive master. All cases should be inside Placido's office at the police station. Oh. What do we got? Thick dust. Has been opened in years. New safe hasn't been used. Furnace, nothing behind it. Okay. Fingerprints, loose frame. Stack of books, reach papers, and advantage novels. Yeah. Old case file, nothing related to the hive. Ah, what we got? What the? Uh, now, now that is odd to say the least. It's an ear. Yeah. What's this? Collection of Hive articles. A collection of local and nationwide newspaper articles all mention the Hive and Hive Master and are organized chronologically. Chief Inspector Placida had been collecting information on this gang for years. May 1875, exclusive, new crime syndicate sweeping Cordona. January 1876, Buzov, exclusive, uh, elusive weapon smugglers, the Hive, supply Irish nationalists. Ugh. Okay. 
Uh, Hi, Master Mystery. We all know about the underground gang leader. May 1878, police corruption controversy and officer spills the truth. Uh, June 1878, no more free speech, independent newspaper raided by police. February 1879, the hive stings again, five civilians dead, ten injured. April 1879, former Cordona Chronicles reporter missing, we will not be silenced, pledges editor. 1879, December, police corruption charges dropped. Huh. Huh. Strange. What's this? These look like uh, Placido's notes on the Hive Master. The last page reads Beatrice Queen. The City Hall record said Miners End 1877, same year, same district as the gunfight. Was he right under my nose all along? Let's take the ear, Sherry. It'll bring us luck. You'll see. Good lord, you can't be serious. Let's take the ear! Come on! Right, let's see. Hive Master, okay. John's just said to the ear from Placido's office, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. You know what? We'll take it. Nice. Always play it by ear, pal. I mean, who knows? It could be useful. Uh, okay, so we need to go back uh, now to uh, City Hall and get uh, notes on the Hive Master. Wait, hold on. Slip news on the Yeah, City Hall records. Okay. So we head back to City Hall. Uh, I'm sure, yeah. And then we'll go from there. Alright, City Hall's over here. Out of the way, peasants. Uh, a true man of mystery is on the foot. Uh. Mm -hmm. Archives, here we go. There it is. City Hall record said Myers End 1877. Uh, like, period 1877, so there's that. Uh, she districts, minor, oh, minor's end, and then, citizens, property of bee queen, Ooh, one. Oh, excuse me, Queen Beatrice, uh, business entity registered in 1877, documents filed for closure in January 1880, uh, three years, huh, property registered in the name, uh, Warehouse in Myers End sold in February 1880. District, a distillery in Myers End shut down in February 1880. Via in Grand Soray auctioned off for charity in March 1880. Warehouse in Myers End currently for sale. Located on K uh, Clay Street by Stevenson's Bridge in Silverton. Okay. This is it. So we do. I'm gonna check. Uh, the warehouse at Miner's End, currently for... Okay, we'll uh, head outside and then we'll try and go and find it. Uh, listen, I have a few ideas about uh, what exactly happened to this guy, and neither one of them are too good. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to Miner's End yet. Uh, oh no, apparently I have. Hold on, first off. Let's see. Oh. Okay, no. Uh, so, well, no. Okay. So, Clay Street by Susan's Bridge in Silverton. Susan's Bridge, uh, Clay Street. Uh, let's head over there. Alright. Yeah, this railway bridge looks really functional. What's going on over here? Clearing out on Hive Master's orders. Cornelius said he knows what he looks like, but he's full of it. Let's have a look. Who saw the Hive Master? Let's go. Let's see. Burned face? Nope. Brother of the governor? No, never seen him. Ghost of Cordona? No, better not to know. Ta oh. Okay. Sorry. Clearing out on high. See, so better not to know. This is don't survive. Brother of the governor. Ghost of Cordona. 
heights, messages, uh, never seen them. Okay, here we go. For what I've heard, the rank of the file of the high do not know what their boss looks like. Apparently, they never seen the high master in person. Okay. Right. Queen's warehouse. Before we go inside, let's have a look around. You just on watch, buddy? It's like, yeah, some guy in a suit comes walking up to the warehouse. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Let's head inside. Uh oh. Oh, man. This is Hive territory. Shoot him, boys! Ha! Ah, you little s Hey, dig it! Oh! Ooh. There we go! Don't cry, you'll live. Barely. Ah! You little. Ah! Gotta deal with you. It's time to knock this guy out. Ah! Oh, no! Wrong, wrong one! I couldn't miss the party! I will end you! There we go. Alright. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. He's all yours now. Go for it. Oh! Alright. Oh, don't all cry, right. you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh man. You're mine, buddy. Coming. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. Oh man. Oh. Wait, hold on, I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't cry, you'll live. Oh. Ooh. All right. All right. That was close. Take a rest, my friend. Oh. You did it for it now. Woo! Oh. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Hi. Right. Sorry, no. Oh, oh, wait, oh. Right. Fine, we'll just go. I couldn't miss the party. Oh, ooh. All right. That was close. Don't cry, you'll live. Time to knock this guy out. Oh, uh, oh, no, wrong one. I'm coming. It won't work this way. I need to find something else to knock I'm him out. I'm coming for you. All right, hold on, bring him over here. All right. Oh yeah. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Woo! All right. The snuff's ready. All right. Let's have a look around.
Hello? Hmm. There we are. What's up here? Well, thanks for helping out, John. I mean, what a convenient way to pull the wool over the eyes of the customs house. Oh yeah. What's up? A fire? Someone's been burning papers, I see. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there we are. Print papers, okay. What do we got? Hmm. Everything knits together. Hmm. I can't spare him, boys. Cal, too busy wrapping up. Same as you. The boss has gone soft. Shutting down when we have the island in our pockets makes no sense to me. And what's with the letters? He never contracted us directly before. I'd be a fool to cross him, but I'm sure as hell I ain't not leaving. There's still easy pickings to be had here. Hive or no hive. Huh. Let's see. Burn the documents, prepare the goods, I will deal with the apiary. The shipments will be the last. If you are on the ship, you will be taken care of. If not, you are on your own. Huh? HM. Okay. Key evidence collected? Alright, is that it? All evidence collected, alright. See, burnt pages found burnt papers in the Queen's uh, uh, house. Perhaps they can be restored. Oh, okay. Not sure how we're gonna restore this, but uh, I'll give anything a try. Okay, let's see. Negative three, negative four, and five. Uh, so I think it doesn't we really have. Okay, yeah. So that can turn that uh, into a negative. So we got that. And negative four. Uh, uh, no, no, no. If I found one that had like a f f no 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 wait is there no it's a four let's let's think think uh, what's, what's this one do um okay yeah here we go. So, this one, decrement. So, tracks one from the region's value. Hold on. If that's the case, maybe, just maybe. Wait, hold on. So, adds one to the region's value. Okay, so, if I do this here, one of these. So it makes it to a negative four, so that's it. So actually five. And I think I can do that with that. So I, all right, that's all I need. Okay, so we just do what? No. Um. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. There we are. Okay. And then we take another one. And this one. And then this. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I found print page in the Queen's Warehouse office. I managed to store some fragments. Beeswax to Valin. 50 crates of yarn to Dublin. Of honeycomb to Thelso. Okay, let's see. I can't spend okay, so this one hold on. Oh do with the AP area. What's the AP the AP area?
What's the apiary? Yeah. No, let's see. How do they pay? The will be the last few on the ship. Uh, wait, ship. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, apiary, apiary, apiary. Uh, I want to know what. Well, let's head outside for now. So it's in dark. Uh, we'll try over there. He did say ship. Uh. Is there? Uh, I can't tell if there's a ship down there or not. Are you able to help me? I clearly have nothing to do with what you are asking about. This is the docks here. May I ask for your assistance? It's funny when someone like you asks someone like me for help. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Shut up, John. Fish company? Uh, no. Maybe I have to go back to the police station. Maybe they'll know something. Sergeant Stark's back at his desk. Across from the chief inspector's office. Be careful, Mr. Holmes. Well, I'm not here. Let me read, see if I can read this again. Peace Rock Civilian, for the kids in Hong Kong, to the Salasso, Soil Nauta, and Myers and Soria Myers and shit down for a villa and Grand Saray auction off cherry. Where else Myers? Not true face. So I've heard. Bring the documents, prepare the goods. I'll do the appearance show with the lands. I don't. I have no idea what it's asking about. Like apiary. What do you mean? What does it mean by apiary? Hey, hold on. Ships, maybe, maybe down here. This one around. No. Oh, I gotta figure this out. Give me one sec. Yeah.
That's seriously where I, like I looked. I'm pretty sure I went. I looked over it. So. Cause if I'm correct, uh, right, hold on. I think it's over here somewhere. We'll just uh, this place is probably faster. This place. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone knocking? Apiary. Uh, yeah, I've been here for. Why didn't it uh, make the new location beforehand? Sir, I'm looking for a man who goes by the name of Hive Master. Uh huh. To look, yeah. Hiding the missing scar. Right. Snuff taker. Grafted tattoo? Oh, it's grafted tobacco. Okay. Bee stings. Six shot revolver. The skulky grouchy man in his 50s is clearly unhappy about uh, my intrusion. He has some grafted tobacco on his clothes and bee stings on his hand. Apparently, he's been tamed to the bees apiary for a while. He's hiding a missing ear and carrying a prestigious revolver. The beekeeper is none other than the chief. Inspector Placido using the high master's fears for rotation to keep people away. I knew it! Well, what's the other option? The beekeeper must be none other than the notorious high master, which means that it did not end well for Chief Inspector this time. Placido must be dead. No, because it was in his office and he had the ear in his office. So it had to, it has to be Placido. Yep, that's him, all right, sir. Chief Inspector Placido. And what makes you think that? Why, you're missing ear, amongst other things. You need a larger hat. I've been investigating your last case on behalf of Sergeant Stark, and now I think I understand what happened to the Hive Master. Humor me. It was like... He lived a double... I'm gonna go with the... That he invented... No, wait. No, they never saw him before, so I'm going to say he invented him. You invented him? An imaginary nemesis to whom you attributed real crimes. What? Why would anyone make up an imaginary... Anyone? No. I killed this one. As simple as that. But what? why? Everyone deserves a trial. Wasn't my choice. He and his thugs attacked me when I went to arrest them. It was a kill or be killed kind of situation. Turned out for the best, though. With his cronies dead, not a soul knows what the Hive Master looks like. His own gang, scared stiff of him. So you assumed his place to dismantle this criminal enterprise from within? Damn right I did. And after I'm done, I'm not planning to go back. I've had enough of this rotten nest of corruption. But it just won't leave me alone, will it? First, they dismiss my retirement requests, and now they send a sleuth after me. It's not like that. I tell you what it's like, son. This is not the first case you've worked on for Stark, huh? That amateur promoted to a sergeant for his merits. I don't think so. Mm. You're not an officer. But from what I can see, you are much brighter than the lot of them. So what's your stake in this? You some sort of consulting detective? Oh, he mm. said it. Uh... Yes, I suppose you could call me that. <laughs> My name is Sherlock Holmes, at your service. Then do me a service, Mr. Holmes. Drop this case and don't tell anyone you saw me here. Let me enjoy my retirement in peace. Well... 
Uh, first off, uh... I have to ask, why are you so fascinated with beekeeping? Ooh. I just want a quiet life, away from the hassle and bustle. Watching the little workers like I once watched the criminal world of Cordona. Yes, it suits me just fine. Alright. Now I have your ear if you want it. I, um... I have your ear. What the hell? Give it to me now. All okay. right, but let's make it a fair exchange, shall we? Huh? I want. Ooh! No, I can't take his revolver, man. I can't. Uh. I want a few beehives in return. I have space in my garden. Who knows? Perhaps someday I might try my hand at beekeeping too. <laughs> Deal. Now go. I'll consider your request, sir. By the way, I must talk to Sergeant Stark. Tell him I died a hero. Or a coward. I don't care. As long as they leave me alone. Alright. Really, Sherry? Beehives? How old are you? 130? Unbelievable. No, but in the one Shark Holmes movie I saw where he is a beekeeper, he was 93, yeah? Alright. I couldn't take his revolver from him, but it's like that could have been so cool. Like I could have had like a nice, awesome revolver if I wanted. But no. Alright. But I'll tell them what they want to hear. Any news, Mr. Holmes? Uh, I'm gonna tell him he's dead. Chief Inspector Placido can be presumed dead. I was unable to find his body, but the evidence is unequivocal. He's gone. I suppose I expected as much, but still it doesn't make it any easier. Placido was a good man. You would have liked him if you'd met him. Hmm. Yes, it's, uh, it's a pity. I'm sure I would. In any case, no matter how bad, the truth is better than uncertainty. Uh... Please, take this as a token of gratitude. You've done us all a great service. Thanks again for your help. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. The man deserves to be left alone. Alright, wait, first off, first off, yeah, um, okay, right, so uh, okay, but no, I got, uh, two new wardrobe items, what do I got, uh, uh, oh, officer's cap, nice, uh, what, what the heck, Gangster John? Oh no no! Police uniform, truck, street brawler. Oh yeah, I think I yeah I think I borrowed this. Uh. Okay, well enough of that. Uh, we are going to now. Uh, let's see, master. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, this one. So uh, let's see. Uh, Find the gallery at the Kevinson at the crossroads of Basin Road and Hermes Avenue in the Old City. Yeah, That's, uh, Old City. Yeah, and it was Bazar Road and Hermes Avenue. Bazar Road, Hermes Avenue. Bazar Road and Hermes. Say Bazar Road and Hermes Avenue. Right here. Okay. Let's head out and we'll go do that. I still got a little bit of time tonight, so we'll uh, we'll spend that uh, trying to get the start of this next case done. Actually, before we do, I'm gonna check uh, out some uh, furniture locations. Uh, yeah, just gonna check out a few furniture locations, just see if there's anything to better get. The home taken care of and my memory's flowing. I'm not sure how much money I have. I mean, I probably should buy some disguises, but if I can rent them, it's like, what's the point? Extra, extra! Here we go. Exquisite furniture for your own. My goods will brighten up your house. Well, they're mine to begin with, so, you know. I can buy both, huh? Enjoy your purchase. Okay. Let's uh Oh, there's a uh furniture outlet here. I mean, I'll stop and have a look. I can't buy anything, but I can at least stop and have a look, yeah.
Nice affordable come, clothes. Come, come. Decorate your house in Orient. Marhaba. It's a good day for a purchase. I yeah, suppose so. Yeah, I think I can get this, but... Ooh. Hmm. Don't hurry. We can bargain. Well, yeah, but I think... I can't bargain you down to five bucks, can I? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, this is a newspaper stand. What's inside? Oh, Mr. Holmes, ominous. you came. Oh, how kind. Though now, of course, I realize it is because of my game, not the works on display. It needn't be one or the other. Your man's disguise was easily debunked, Mr. Vogel, but I shall admit that you planted in me the seed of curiosity. Ah, oh, terrific! I had no doubt you'd put the pieces together. Let us call it an opening gambit before the real game begins. What? So, this little game of yours, what's it about? An enigma to solve. A locked area in the basement with no windows found brutally vandalized. I have no clue how it was possible. Uh, let's see... What about this intrusion? What happened? Last night, I was about to leave the gallery when I heard a noise downstairs. I went to the basement, Ooh. but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It was admittedly a rudimentary inspection. It is not uncommon to get rats down there, so seeing nothing of note, I left and locked up the building. When I returned this morning, alas, I discovered that part of the exhibition had been torched, and there was no sign of the intruder. The mystery being, of course, that all the doors to the gallery were locked exactly as I left them. And the door to the basement is the only entrance? Correct. Tell me you're not intrigued. And this locked area downstairs, what exactly was it? The under gallery. It's always shut, and I'm the only one with the key. Mm. Ah, so this is your private collection, not part of the gallery. Oh, no. It's an exclusive exhibition of eccentric pieces. Only a select cadre of artists, investors, and collectors are admitted. Mm. Not everyone deserves to have their eyes open. Ooh. Well, this matter is certainly within my wheelhouse. This intrusion troubles me. Please take a look around if you're willing. The under gallery is through the door at the end. All right. I will see what I see. Let's go have a look. Uh... Hey, 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 so are you much... sure you don't like art, Sherry? Mm, depends on the art. Uh. Back home, we've got a taxidermist. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I bring him. What? Oh my god! What the? What the heck is going on here? Okay, first things first. Let's start over. Oh my god! I'm walking to Fifty Shades of Grey over here. The left step's length is shorter than the right. It indicates that the walker was lame. Oh, yeah, it means they had a limp. Uh. Old, and hasn't been used for a long time. Hmm. Okay, well, uh... A true artist never shows an unfinished piece. John, don't get any ideas. Uh. We got here. Sherry, how about some company in that dreary chamber of yours? I told you not to leave get any ideas. I'm broken, John. I told you to leave it alone, John. Don't get any ideas. Uh, what's that? Beer belly? What? Oh. A handprint of the thing from another world. But it looks fresh, and its coal origin ruins the effect of the extra mundane. Oh. New mine pals clue. Okay, we'll take care of that in a second. Uh. Sodden and mold ridden. One presumes deliberately. So I'm totally made it moldy? Oh, God. A simplistic attempt at provocation. It's just a rotting sh fish. Uh, John, stop playing with the, with that. Uh, 
Now, when I was a kid, I found like a dead catfish on the shore of a lake once. I poked it and then that was it. I didn't want to get anywhere near it after that. So. What the heck is fungus? The parasites of creativity. Or just a reflection of the artist's recreational interests. Ah, oh, yeah, getting them shrooms, boy. Oh! Saturn devouring his son. Oh, a grim composition. Ugh. Unflinching in its ferocity, Ugh. yet somehow beautiful. Don't get philosophical on me, John, when you're sitting there playing pretend reeling in with a shark. Uh, what the? A mount power bot. Hmm. Okay. What? What else am I looking for? Oh, wait, uh, fingerprints. Cold fingerprints. I think we're looking for a man with a cold moustache. Okay. No, oh, what's it? Frame is empty. Yeah. Ugh, sheer vandalism. Only an ignorant person could do such a thing. Alright. Keep looking around. What's that? Change of fragile? For paintings? Okay, let's go, uh, the Mind Palace. Gallery Intruder is a smoker who limps. No. Common prints the lid, put prints up to the floor, and the first room, pile of ashes, and the first room, pile one empty frame, and the map pile of cigarettes. Uh. Not sure what else I'm supposed to be looking for here. Looks I found everything here. I wish I could show you the gallery under different circumstances, but life is beautiful in its unpredictability, isn't it? I suppose so, but still. Hmm. Wait, what's this? Any heal else you can interact with? Uh? Jeesh! Uh, can't show that! Uh. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things in here that I can't show. Oh, yep, like that. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Oh, no, no, that's a de decapitated head. No, no, everyone, no one, look at this. Art is not something you should look at. Uh, art is something that people should tell you is interesting. ACS, uh, no, the AC Swinner Room. A true artist never shows an unfinished piece. Something else I can interact with here. Oh, wait. Closed with a metal bolt. Okay. Ah! Footprints. Size nine and a half. Scratches. Fresh. Magnet fishing. No, n magnet fillings. Right. Okay, here we go. Let's figure out where everything goes. First off, we need to we'll go over here first. What? Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Wait, what's the other option? Yeah, it's a likely answer given what we saw. No. That probably makes the most sense there. Okay, look at this one. I just can't see him doing this himself, huh? I think this is probably right. Uh. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. No, wait. There we go. The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the hatchbolt. He accidentally pushed a shovel to the floor. Vogel heard the noise. At the sound of his approaching footsteps, the intruder hid inside the coffin. All right. When Vogel entered the basement, he failed to notice anything strange and left without properly checking. Aha. Uh -huh. The intruder waited until Vogel had left the caravanserai before burning the paintings in Wilde's room. But the vandalism was a cover for the theft. All right then. So we gotta go talk to him about all this. That's probably one of the easiest deductions I'd seen so far. The pieces are not what I expected. What do you think my collection is about? It's about uh, death? No, uh, decay. Extravagant paintings have been left to rot in a basement. A commentary on decay and the crumbling of society, correct? I don't know. What? Well, that's absurd. Of course you know. It's your gallery. There is no one answer, no singular truth, but many filtered through the subjective mind. That forgetting, embellishing, lying machine. Besides, okay, whatever. what's wrong with a lie if it makes life more interesting? Well, a lot, actually. A lie? It corrupts the ability of others to behave freely and rationally. Men never act freely and rationally anyway. It matters not what is or isn't in the end. The only important thing is how you feel. And I simply want to feel and consume as much as I can. Mm. Don't you? Feelings are simply one's animal ancestry trying to wrest back control of the brain. I try to avoid the distraction. Mm. You try not to feel, even in a place like this? None of it moves you? To be frank, I struggle to maintain even a wit of interest in art. Me too. But Mr. Holmes, it is joy incarnate, mankind's greatest achievement. Mankind's highest achievement above all others is objective and rational thought. Hmm. I see then why you dislike art, for it means whatever you want it to. Or perhaps, Mr. Vogel, I was lying. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> the case is interesting. Mr. Vogel, my investigation has revealed that the intrusion was not merely vandalism but theft. The limping visitor left your place with a canvas. That's very impressive. Uh, this thief was familiar with the gallery and he was sporting a limp. Do any of your clients or artists come to mind? Hmm. My, your attention to detail is remarkable, Mr. Holmes. I should introduce you to Bosch's works. Alas, I'm afraid I cannot suggest a culprit. All right. The fire was a clever attempt to hide a stolen painting, even if it didn't fool me. I found the remnants of an empty frame in the pile of ashes. The canvas had been removed. Do you know which paintings in the Wild Room may have interested a thief? Were any particularly expensive? Those pieces belonged to a well-known artist named Boniface Mercurio. They're controversial, but not of a notably high value. Okay. The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the latch and dislodged the shovel while doing so. That's the noise you heard yesterday. When you went downstairs to investigate, he hid in the coffin. Hmm. It seems I should have checked the space more thoroughly. There's something more, is there not? I can see it in your eyes. Ooh. Hmm. Indeed. There is another intriguing angle. Hmm. I recently received an anonymous offer for one of Mercurio's works. Oh. The sum was more than fair. 
and indeed could have saved Mercurio from his artistic poverty. But he declined it. What? Was it a performative whim? Some artists lionize pain and hardship as if their work would be worse after a meal and a hot bath. Uh... I cannot tell. But not only did he refuse the deal, he insisted on displaying the painting in the public space. I was hoping to change his mind, but artists are a special breed of stubborn. Ooh. So where can I find Boniface Mercurio? I know he lives somewhere in Old City, but couldn't be more specific. He's a prominent figure, so finding him shouldn't be a problem. Okay. What was depicted in the piece? Hmm. A bound woman wrapped in robes huh? being penetrated by a red devil that stared at us, the viewer. The beast had numerous tails growing from his back, uh. and a large crowd gathered around the pair, silently watching the orgiastic scene. Uh. Okay, well, given the nature of the other works on display, it's hard to see why that one stood out. What could possibly uh. be its value? The evaluation of art is very subjective, Mr. Holmes. After all, art is everything. A poem, a bruise, the beads of sweat on your beloved skin. Even a masterfully solved crime. I'm not sure I see the connection. Me neither. Regardless, the painting was one of a series called The Sabbath Night in Cordona. The works depict sex, violence, and other controversial acts that life, for better or worse, contains. Oh, I see. Oh, God. I'm not sure that you do. But that can wait for another time. Well, I believe I have enough to begin. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. Your gallery certainly has unexpected depths. Yeah. I'm delighted to have been able to please a friend. In return, I expect you to come back with good news. Or at least with a good story. Yeah, sure. I'll try and make it as entertaining as possible. Most of the artist's prominent experiment lives somewhere in the old city, but you don't know where exactly. You should mention them specifically as a prominent person. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to have that image in my head. I'm a Christian boy. That is... Uh, a rather disturbing uh, art piece, and I'm gonna be certain everything in that work was disturbing. Okay, but I think we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. This is gonna be a whole thing, and if it takes as long as the elephant one did, I am not looking forward to uh, doing more of it. But, you know, we're gonna have to get to do it, we'll have to get it taken care of, and when we do, I hope you're gonna be here with me watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe down below, it helps out the channel, it helps out me, and makes me know that you guys are watching and are paying attention. And, of course, if you're watching this on Twitch, you know, thanks for being here, thanks for listening. I know the beginning was a little shaky, I'll cut out of the YouTube one so you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, thanks for being here. And until next time, people, ta-ta, and goodbye for now.